Hello everybody, welcome back to Ship Simulator Maritime Search and Rescue. Wow, I think I, I think I got the entire name of the game correct for the first time ever. We are doing a North Sea playthrough, I believe. And we are at Highway to Heligoland. <laughs> we did the boy bumper is drowning last time. Actually, it kind of makes you realise that the campaign is actually relatively long. Whether it's interesting is another matter entirely, so it'll be interesting to see if there's any kind of variation in the missions. So anyway, we are doing Witness. So let's uh, start the mission. And see what excitement we have in this mission. I mean, if the, the missions are varied, then this game actually might not be too bad. Oh yeah, I should have maybe not had this at the start of the video. Oh well. Like, yeah, oh well. Because you saw this before, I'm, I'm so mad. Can I go this way? Let me in, damn it. No, anyway, what? Object not reached. <laughs> That's random that you can just throw it like that. Okay. Whoops. Open the door, go downstairs, go find the cell phone. Okay, so what? I wonder if we can hook the cell phone. Where is it? There it is. Oh, object not reached. Damn it. Okay. Sea Rescue Cruiser Herman Marvita. Pete Songen here. Uh, this is Friedrich. I'm a bird keeper at the Institute of Avian Research. Oh. How nice. Over near the Wit Cliff, I can see people standing and waving frantically. Less nice. They're standing and waving? Yes, I think so. I'm looking at them through my binoculars and can only just make them out. They could actually be standing right on the submerged cliff. Maybe they're a casualty. That voice. Either way, we have to rescue them. MRCC Bremen, this is the Herman Marvita. We've just received a report of people on the cliff. Hello, Herman Marvita. Are you heading there? Yes, we are. We're in contact with a bird keeper who has the people in his sights. Good. Keep us in the loop. Can you stay on the phone, Friedrich? Of course. I'll keep watching the people. Of Great. course. We'll stay in contact. <laughs> Yeah, kind of hilarious. The voice acting, like I've said before, at least that they've made an effort to try and make some kind of a story with some kind of voice acting, but some of the voice acting is kind of funny. But I have heard a lot worse, let's put it that way. Right, we're heading towards our lovely green arrow pointer and see what excitement we have today. It's a lovely, a lovely day for it. A lovely day for cruising about on our boat. Okay, so we have to go all the way back on ourselves. That music. Why does it say seat on the bridge? What? It doesn't usually see that. It doesn't usually say that. Seat on the bridge. That's weird. Anyway, whatever, ignore that. We just gotta to head towards the green um green arrow even. Yeah, so epic. We are epic. There you go. Nice view there. I did this before, didn't I? There's a little boat in the back. Hanging out. The actual, the, the water effects in this game are actually not too bad. I know they're not perfectly accurate. They're probably not very realistic, is what I mean. But actually they did make an effort at making a wake effect. Which is relatively decent, you know? Okay, heading towards the green arrow still. Oh, and 
we have a helipad, which is kind of cool. I wonder if we can have a helicopter at one point. That would be awesome. Maybe we will. Mr. Friedrich, is there any news? I Pete, I think our phone connection's breaking up here. That's oh, cellular, no. not VHF. You're right. If you travel too far out, we'll lose contact with the only person who can see the missing people. We shouldn't risk that. Okay. Return cell coverage. We'll need an alternative method of transmission then, Pete. Okay. Let's just go back then. That was a bit pointless. We maybe should have thought thought of that before, eh? Mr. Friedrich, can you hear me? Yes, I can still hear you. Good. Then we're within cellular coverage. Oh, spiffing! Right, the witness has seen people at the White Cliff. I should head there. The wheat the wit cliff okay so where it so that's still over that direction so I believe I'm, I'm gonna have to use my other little mini thing mini Hi. me yes can you relay the phone conversation with Friedrich to me via VHF I'll give it a shot awesome that is a bit of a Hello? glitch can you see on the me? bridge yes Lol. I can still hear you Great. MRCC Bremen. Daughter boat Verena deployed. We're now searching the Whitcliffe. Two persons yeah, on board. Yeah, we In saw it out. Contact with the witness. MRCC Bremen. We are Copy boss. That. We are the best rescue people on this earth. We can solve any complex problem. But yeah, that's obviously a bug. It just says seat on the bridge for some bizarre reason. In the middle of the screen at all times, and I don't know why. Oh well. Whatever. Whee! Here we go, we're going to the green circle. Just head to the green circle, it's all you have to do. Verena to MRCC Bremen. We're on location at the Whit Cliff. We are. Oh. Can you still see the people? Okay, I'll say that. Mr. Friedrich, can you still see the people? Yes, I still have them in my sights. We can't see anybody at all standing here. What the hell is this guy looking at? <laughs> what the hell? We can't see anybody here. How accurately can you see these people? Uh, what do you want to know? Where are you standing? I'm standing on the Spa Promenade, and I'm looking northeast. Okay. Approximately in the direction of the seal banks, and that's where I see the people. Okay. How big do the people look? <laughs> well, I can see them well, but they're small. But I, I can't see them waving anymore. Not well, anyway. Okay. What kind of binoculars are you using? Well, a commercial pair, a variable zoom. How high is the zoom? Uh, the zoom, well, as high as possible, uh, 60 times. Whoa. 60 times magnification? He can't be just looking at the cliff with that. What? Are the people really standing? Well, um, yes, they're standing. What are they standing on, then? I don't know. Something floating. Damn it! What? Now he tells us that. I'll tell you what. What the hell? That guy has damn good binoculars. <laughs> to spot the people even though they're so small. What and to is see he people going? on something floating. <laughs> the people are not even on the cliff. They're somewhere far out there in the deep water. 
we should set off right away. What the hell is that? I'll be in touch. What the hell? What? Like, that voice acting was so kind of messed up. Like, what the hell was that about? Right, so, hang on. Where am I going? For some reason, I can't see anyone here. I should radio with the witness again and ask for more precise details of where these people... No, but it just said... Didn't he just say? Damn it. Arena to MRCC Bremen. We're on location at the Whit Cliff. Um I just asked him and I thought it just said we can't see anybody here. How accurate what can the hell? Uh, what do you want to know? Uh No, but we just did all this, and it said, I thought it had already moved on the dialogue. What kind of binoculars are oh you using? Oh my goodness. Well, a commercial pair, a variable zoom. How high is the zoom? Uh, the Seriously. Zoom, well, as high as possible, uh, 60 times. 60 times magnification? He can't be just looking at the cliff with that. I'll tell you what, that guy has damn good binoculars. What the To hell? spot the people even though they're so small. And to see people on something floating. The what people going are not on? even on the cliff. They're somewhere far out there in the deep water. We should set off right away. <sighs> I'm just going to do the only option I haven't tried. MRCC, we need a helicopter. Couldn't you find the people? No, we assume they're a lot farther north than that. What? In the deep water, perhaps on a capsized yacht. What? I see. We'll conduct a search. We'll start north of the cliffs. We'll give you more information as soon as we reach the area. The helicopter is on its way. You do the OSC. On our way. You do the OSC. What the Jenkins, okay. 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 So I think I know what I'm doing now. So I just randomly had to call a helicopter when I didn't realize I needed one. I need to search for the people north of the Whip Cliff and rescue them. Once I found them, I should go to the rescue side of the daughter boat and grab them at the right time. Okay, okay. So we're going over here. Um, yeah, that was a bit weird. It said let's go straight away, but it didn't actually give me a location. Was I like, and why was the green circle around here when this area here, there's not a cliff around here? But there's a cliff over there. So the whole thing was a bit weird, really. Anyway, let's head for the green thing. Let's head for the green squarey thing. So yeah, not ideal, really. Not ideal. And then I just randomly had to call a helicopter because I thought that might move the, the mission on. And it did. But yeah, some of that voice acting was funny. I I think he's got damn good binoculars. I don't think he's just looking at the cliff with those. Like, what the hell is that? Undertones or what? Serious undertones. We Right, so we need to search this area. I think I see them over there. It's kind of a problem with the graphics, really. MRCC Bremen. Verena is now approaching the search area. Roger, Verena. The helicopter's already on site. We'll carry out a coordinated creeping line search. Travel in parallel tracks within the search area. Meanwhile, the helicopter will fly over the area. I know what a creeping line search is. We'll Whoa. be in touch once we have a visual. Good luck. Touchy mother. He is touchy. Chill out, dude. Oh, there's a helicopter. There is actually a helicopter. Yay. Come on, helicopter. We love you. Like, I don't know what he's even searching for. Is he searching for other people? Because I've already found the people. Bremen, we can see three people. <laughs> They're all around the capsized yacht. The so yacht's floating keel up and taking on water. They're no longer standing on it and have jumped into the water. I'll send you over the coordinates. Well done. 
You should well start done. the rescue operation. With yeah, water should. temperatures at around 18 degrees, they're probably hypothermic. Whoa, 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 dude. Come on, let me pick him up. There you go. They're probably hypothermic, yes. They probably are. Come back, dude. Dude, where are you going? We're gonna like run this dude over, man, again. Come on! Damn it! Controls! Man! Serious lack of controls. Right, let's go all the way back and let's start off from there. There we go, that's, that's a bit better. No, we're creeping, man. We're creeping, we're creeping. Come on! Oh, controls. Come on, controls. Come on, damn it! Arr, rage. I'm going to rage, man. These are like really annoying controls here, in my humble opinion. Maybe I'm just st like stupid. Oh, come on, dude. Get out from underneath my frigging boat already. Wow. This is fun! Crappy controls, like seriously. Like, there's obviously some wave, like water effect. The water is kind of like pushing your boat. But I'm sure in real life it wouldn't be this hard to actually pull alongside someone. You know? Come on, we've nearly got him. Come on. Come to me. No? Oh, dude. Come on, man. Let me get the dude. And then when you try and go right, look, it's, 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 it's like you're going further away from him. What the hell? Come on. There we go. There we go. We got him. Where'd he go now? Dude, come back. There you go. Finally. This is the OSC Herman Marvita with three castaways on board. Please inform the hospital on Heligoland. We'll bring them there with the Marvita. I'm on it. Oh, I bet you are. I'm going to read all the logs just to make sure. Now I need to get the patients on board the Marvido. I should then set a course for our station. Okay, so that was weird. So it was exactly the same mission like what we've done before with a, with a capsized yacht um, with people you have to rescue. Now the thing that was weird was it kind of suggested, you know, it tried to make you think it's, a, it's going to be a more varied kind of mission by having the weird stuff at the beginning with the cliff and someone on a phone saying oh there's all these people standing on a cliff like what the hell and then it turns out they're not standing on a cliff it's someone with binoculars who thinks it's people standing on a cliff but actually they're standing on a yacht that's overturned in the water so this is like the craziest thing I've ever heard, heard in my life and they did all of that just to make this mission seem a bit more varied. So, to be fair, at least they are making the missions more varied. Okay, to be fair. However, some of the voice acting and some of the, the ideas in this, this mission are a bit far-fetched, to say the least, and a little bit weird. Like, as if someone is looking to a pair of binoculars and thinks, oh look, there's loads of people standing on a cliff. They might be in danger. Oh no, actually they're not on a cliff. They're standing on an upturned yacht in the ocean. Like, what the hell is that about? Anyway. Whoa, full speed, guys. Full speed ahead. Come on. Open. Open. Oh, yes. <laughs> awesome. Hypothermia. Prepare I bet we everything have. to stabilize them. All right, okay. Who knows how long they were drifting out there? And what did the helicopter? What was the helicopter the for? Marvita back to Heligoland. I don't know. Even I don't even know what the helicopter was for. We found them. So easy. 
Like, it gave us the green search area thing before the helicopter even arrived. So again, they're just trying to make the missions interesting, but it's a bit random to be fair, isn't it, really? So I believe we just need to take them back to the base now. Back to the islands. Oh, we're going back to the base. Back to the island. Yeah. Worst singing ever. So yeah. At least they are trying to make it more interesting. But yeah, that was a little bit weird though. That was a bit weird. Somewhat weird. And like I've said in previous videos, that's often a problem with these games. That there's, there's no variety in the missions, there's, there isn't enough variety in the gameplay, so that it makes it interesting. Oh well. Oh, we're going back to drop off some hypothermia, people. I believe it's here. Slow down, Pete. We are a professional rescue operation. So you better slow down, mate. How are the patients doing, Jasper? They're going to be brought to the island hospital soon. Just Back to be safe, to the island. they're all nice and stable. And they've been inquiring about their boat. They've already organized a buoy tender to salvage the boat. Buoy. Roger. Maybe they'll be able to pick it up tomorrow. We love the buoys. Okay. I think our work is done here. I think it is. Okay, guys. So, I'm just gonna... Hmm. Yeah, I'll sort this out in a minute. So, thank you for watching this episode. And I will see you in the next exciting episode of Maritime Search and Rescue. Thank you. And goodbye.